Growing just one variety at a time is what we normally do in our gardens. We find a variety that we really like and if we can get the seed, we grow it year after year. However, we might not know if there are some other genetic combinations and other varieties that might be far superior, unless we also grow those. A screen is a way to explore some of those genetics without having to go to a variety trial. And a screen is something you can do right in your own garden. Screening potato varieties in western North Dakota is certainly something of a stress test. My soils are heavy and we don't get a lot of rain late in the season. So it'll be very interesting to get a feel for uh, what potato varieties might be worth growing here. Simple traits like maturity and plant form, canopy, uh, vigor, these are things that can be reasonably compared and the information is quite useful even if we're doing this just in a garden setting. We don't really have to have replicated variety trials for all of the traits. Whereas to get a really solid handle on yield, we might want information over several years and several uh, locations and probably replicated in our field if it's at all possible. Still, for a screen like this, we'll get a pretty good feel for things and uh, the next go round, rather than 17, perhaps I would just focus on the uh, three or four that look the best and grow more of those and uh, do another comparison just to finish my screen and uh, perhaps pick out a variety I like better than the rest. This particular screen of potatoes that I'm conducting here in western North Dakota is sponsored by the University of Wisconsin which is looking at organic potato varieties and how they do in different parts of the upper Midwest. And what we have are 17 different varieties grown side by side, 10 plants each. And as you can see already, some of the varieties have quite large plants that are very vigorous. Some are somewhat more moderate. Some look like the uh, drought is sort of getting to them at this point. There's a lot of variation that you might not notice if you only grow one variety all the time. Growing a few plants of some other varieties side by side with your favorites is a great way to get a good feel for what the other varieties might do. But it's a really good start at getting a look at what other varieties are about. And in this case, these varieties are all being grown in many different locations and scored for early vigor, plant canopy, yield, disease and pest resistance and susceptibility, uh, also uh, flavor uh, once the potatoes are harvested. Some of the varieties really do seem to be quite a bit more interesting to Colorado potato beetles and have received a great deal more attention and have been much more damaged. While some others look really quite good and have only begun to be attacked uh, very late in the season. This is a leafhopper nymph just here, little bright green guy. Um, the adults have wings and they're a little bit bigger and a little bit paler green. And so what these will do is they, um, they suck sap out of the plants and they will start to cause some cupping. You're not seeing it quite so clearly here, but on some of the leaves you can see some upward cupping. And they'll also cause this yellowing around the edge of the leaves. And uh, as it gets worse, you'll get death of the leaf margins as well. Um, it can get quite bad. This, is, this definitely shows some damage here. Um, and that will reduce yield of the plants. Uh, if you're looking you can just look under the leaves, count the number of leaf hoppers, and if you have um, one every leaf or every two leaves, then they're causing an economic effect. Looking at another variety, this is uh, a test variety, Australian crawlers, and it's right next to the previous one um, which showed symptoms of hopper burn. This one is not showing any symptoms at all, so variety selection can make a big difference 
in terms of how much damage this little insect can do. All the plots are harvested at the same time. And potatoes will be gathered together and weighed. And then I'll do a taste test. A nice thing about a screen is you do take the time to look at varieties that you might not normally consider. Um, this fingerling from the Andes, Papacacho, is one I might not have thought of otherwise, but very interesting to see and I'm interested very much to taste them and weigh them up and see how they compared. For each of the plots we will get a total weight of tubers and also a weight of actually marketable tubers. Then a sample is pulled from each and will get cooked and assessed for flavor and also for texture. With garden vegetables it's especially important to assess the plants and their growth and their health and their yield but then also assess the actual quality of the product at the end. What I hope to accomplish with this screen is to find a very high yielding potato that is delicious and uh, great to have on the plate.